Here is one more example of integrating factors to put it all together. So let's solve this differential equation. And the first thing we have to do, which is a source of a lot of mistakes, is to put this in standard form. Standard form. Meaning we need to make sure that the coefficient of y prime is one. And this is in order for us to use the integrating factors method, that formula. Well, here it's not too bad. We just divide by t and we get y prime plus two over t, y equals four t squared. So, so not 4t squared, but 4t squared divided by t, so 4t. And then we can use the integrating factors method. Step two, integrating factors. Factors, so in this case, p of t, so pi m Tabrisian is 2 over t. So let's use Yelp. So e to the integral of p of t dt, that is e to the integral of 2 over t dt. And remember, an antiderivative of 2 over t is 2 ln of t. So in this case, e to the 2 ln of absolute value of t. And then don't forget your laws of exponents. So ln of absolute value of t squared. And e and ln, they're best friends or best frenemies because they cancel each other out. And we're left with technically absolute value of t squared, but that's the same thing as t squared because two is even. So, which is very interesting because the integrating factor is very easy here. It's not always exponential. So it could be t squared. So what's the idea once again? You take your differential equation, multiply it by t squared, and then see if a magic happens. And careful, you take the one in standard form. So you have y prime, plus two over t y equals four t. And that's what you multiply by t squared. So t squared, t squared, t squared. And again, the beautiful thing is for the left-hand side, you don't even need to use do any algebra. By our proof of the integrating factors method, this automatically becomes t squared y. And that's because we want our integrating factor to be that way. We chose it so that it has this product rule form. And the rest is just 4t cubed, and the rest is just integrating. So t squared y is integral of 4t cubed. 4t cubed dt which is t to the fourth plus c, and then t, and then y just dividing by t squared, then just becomes t squared plus c over t squared, and almost done. We just need to solve for c. So y equals two. So one squared plus c over one squared equals two. So one plus C is two. So C is actually not bad, it's just one. And therefore we have our solution Y equals T squared plus one over T squared. Which if you're interested, just looks like this blob, maybe. Technically has two branches, but the one um, with that has the initial condition is this one. That is one, that is two. 
All right, and that's all we need to know about the integrating factors method. Thank you.